Hey everyone, welcome. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> what the heck? Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fire of the Warriors Three Hopes. Uh, so we are going to, I guess, watch these support convos first, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to deal with the. Um, the st I, I, do you, I guess story battle would be the best way to call it. Um. So we'll deal with that. Not d deal with it. We'll beat it. Uh, I'm just, again. I'm sorry for last time about what happened towards the end of the video, where a whole part of the video was cut out. There's not much I could have done about that. Um, apparently, it's just that I ran out of space on my laptop. And what the? F Sometimes my laptop scares me so much it just like popped up. But like your laptop's about to shut down, and then it went away. Looks like we're good, though. Anyway, let's get started on this stuff. Hey, Dudu. What are you doing here? You need something? No, but I must ask. What are you doing here? Just, you know, making sure all the equipment's in good shape. With how rough yesterday's battle was, I figured it couldn't hurt to round up all the weapons that got broken and try my hand at fixing them. I see. Sorry? Should I not have taken them out at night or something? You're giving me this look like you don't trust me. You have His Majesty's trust. I will not lay a hand on you. But I would like to better understand who you are. Come on, we've spent two whole years together, and you're still giving me the side eye? Time does not make a potential traitor any less a traitor. I guess you have a point there, and I'm sure you've seen plenty of betrayal at the Capitol. Besides, I don't exactly want to go losing my employer either. So feel free to keep as many eyes out as you think necessary. Dimitri clearly needs all the help he can get. I mean, he made me a commanding officer without so much as a second thought to my past or my intentions. Yet that conviction makes people follow him. And I agree with his decision. Having you close by is convenient. What, so you can keep a better eye on me? It doesn't really matter. As long as he's paying me, I'll do whatever I've got to do to win for him. Oh, and if I do anything suspicious, you're more than welcome to cut me down right then and there. A very mercenary response. Well, yeah, that's what I am. I might have risen the ranks, and I might have my own unit now, but I'm still a merc at heart. As long as I get the results, everything else, like trust and respect, will follow. At least, that's what my old Captain Berlin taught me. So I guess I don't have much choice but to just keep at it till I earn your trust. I see. Now, these weapon repairs will take time. Allow me to aid you. You sure you don't mean keep an eye on me? <laughs> Glad to have your help, though, to do. All right, then. We have one with Rodrigue as well, but then Ingrid also has one. So who does Ingrid have one? More than likely Rodrigue. Yep, guessed it. Anyway, just continue doing this. Well, if it isn't our mercenary friend. I trust you've adjusted the life in the kingdom by now. Yeah, more or less. I've been here a few times before on the job, so it's not too big a shock. But I've never lived as far north as Ferdiad. There's still a bunch I need to get used to. Stuff like the wind blowing straight through you, or how it's always so stupidly cold, even inside. Or how you can't go out after a blizzard. It snowed so much one night that I couldn't even open the door in the morning. Thought I was off to meet the goddess that day. An amusing enough story when you tell it like that. 
But Fargus winters are no joke. They're harsh, unforgiving beasts. Tell me, have you grown to despise the cold? It's not so bad. I mean, sure, all the snow is really annoying. But it's also beautiful. You can't see lamplit streets covered in the stuff anywhere but here. <laughs> I thought the same when I was young. Though the more years I gain, the more frustrating it becomes. Nevertheless, this brutal tundra is the only home we have. Meaning there's nothing to do but adapt, persevere, and enjoy the lives we've built here. Adapt? Like how the messengers ride pegasi instead of horses during the winter? Exactly. The sight of those majestic creatures soaring through the frost-ridden sky is one unique to Fargus. No matter how much snow blankets the ground, our pegasi quite literally rise to the occasion. When my son and his majesty were still just boys, they followed one off into the frigid mountains of all places. By the time I found them, they were but two shivering masses on the ground. For a moment, I thought my heart would never beat again. So Felix has been getting into trouble ever since he was a kid, huh? <laughs> his penchant for danger is unchanged, yes. Though I fear his disposition has grown far sharper. The hardships of becoming Duke at his age are undoubtedly weighing upon his mind. I don't know. I don't think you need to worry about him. He can take care of himself just fine. A fair point. Perhaps it's time I let him spread his wings like the Pegasus he chased all those years ago. It seems the coming winter will bring more than just cold to Fargus. The ravages of war approach on the same wind. Training in such conditions will be a struggle indeed, but we cannot afford to ignore the looming Srang threat either. Managing our territories through it all will not be an easy task. But I have faith we will adapt, persevere, and overcome. Just as we always have. Next winter, huh? We'll just have to do whatever it takes to make sure the war's over by then. Alrighty then. We have one more. Then we can get on with the story battles. I have exhausted most of the Pegasus Corps, so how should I advance the mounted units on the ground? A tricky proposition indeed. The enemy general won't be foolish enough to miss a chance to seize the advantage here. If we are going to face the enemy with our remaining troops, it would be best to have the mounted units take up formation in the narrow pass to the east. Then, the remaining Pegasus Knights can attack from the cliffs above and end this quickly. Still, my scouts claim there may be archers stationed on those cliff tops. Naturally. Everyone knows to expect Pegasus Knights as soon as they see the standard of Galatea. The enemy will doubtless be ready for this. Yes, it is quite the predicament. I cannot help but wonder what my father or brothers would do. As someone who commands an army of Galatea, withdrawal is not an option. I don't think you need to rack your brain over this too hard, Ingrid. But if we fight without any sort of strategy, we will suffer major casualties. Which might prove to be in your favor. If the enemy sees your back to the wall, they may let their guard down and grow reckless. How many Pegasus Knights stand ready? Nearly half. Perhaps more if their wounds can heal in time. Then select the most skilled from among them and make for the clifftops. And fly into the jaws of their trap? While using the speed of the Pegasi to minimize injury, make it look like you're taking a desperate retreat. Then withdraw your troops. If the enemy thinks they've subdued the famed Pegasus Knights of Galatea, they'll deploy troops from their main fortress, leaving it lightly guarded. Once they do, 
Send a separate unit of your remaining Pegasus Knights to capture it. Hmm. Yes, that just might work. You are amazing, Lord Rodrigue. I suppose this comes from your wide range of experience. Actually, it's a strategy suggested by your brother once upon a time. My brother? Oh, that's right. I believe he served in Srang while he was still a squire. Despite his low rank, he astonished us all with his clever suggestions for deploying our flying units. I have a long way to go if I wish to live up to him. I must prove more diligent about studying strategy. Very ambitious. My son could stand to learn a thing or two from your example. But you ought not overextend yourself. Make certain to rest those wings every once in a while. I wouldn't be able to face the Count or your brothers if I allowed you to work yourself to exhaustion. Resting my wings is a rather difficult proposition. I can't very well run about playing games as I did when I was a child. In any case, I thank you very much for the advice. I think I know how to proceed now. The pleasure is mine, Ingrid. This is a most dangerous strategy, so let's endeavor to make sure we both come out of this alive. Alrighty then. That's everything we have to do, right? I wait. Hold on, I'm gonna do a quick check of something real quick. Uh, what is this? The second one. Oh, okay. Oh, onward. War map. Bang field, you don't have. I'm not gonna do these. For the most part, I'm not gonna do like these little battles here. They're not. They're usually all the same thing. Beat up a few enemies and then an enemy commander and a monster spawn. Take them both out. You win. So for the most part, don't really feel like doing them. So we're just going to continue with the main story here. After the last two years with Dimitri, I thought we'd seen every battlefield there is to see in Fargus. But Magdred Way, huh? This one's new. Uh, a little foggy, don't you think? I might even hazard to call it a lot foggy. You've never fought in conditions like these, so you do well to keep what wits you have about you. If you're not careful in this fog, you could find yourself walking straight off a cliff. Horrible way to go, if you ask me. Come on, you're not my mom. I can handle myself. <laughs> wow, look who woke up on the confidence side of the bed. If that's how you feel, maybe you don't even need my help anymore. You know what? Yeah. Why don't you sit this one out? I've got a thing or two I can show you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. And, just in case you forgot, if you die, I go with you. Our fates are intertwined, so don't do anything too reckless, you understand? Now come on, let's go. Alright, so yeah, this is very similar to, um... Well, okay. Uh, can you see the distance from the magic text? Persuade Doro, okay, that's good. Uh... Additional ally stronghold C secure. I... Okay, yeah. I think we're good there. Ah, uh, yes. Telling us very something very important, actually, about uh, those specific units. Um, there we go. I think we're good. So let's just go ahead and kick some butt. There's no telling where our enemies might be lurking in this fog. Oh, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. In any case, we lack the luxury of waiting for it to flee. The author must be found and put to the floor. Here we go! You know the drill! 
We can't really see anything. We? Is the me, other everyone. generation? We will proceed as we move. Bruh. We will proceed as we must. Okay, send those to there. Not a problem. I'll deal with this thing. No backing down. Not even against the king himself. We fight for Lord Monato. Oh, shut up, dude. I see my hand in front of my face. Hey, didn't we bring torches? Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 what the heck just happened? How did I get over here? Take a breather. Booyah! Come on, I need to switch, switch over. Just deal with this guy very quickly. Boom! This is almost too easy. Press our advantage. There we go. That lightning spell really does seem to do a lot to that. Um. Weakness. Fall back. We need to regroup. Um. Don't really know what else is even in this map. Oh! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh ho oh, oh, ho! Oh. Oh no 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 I remember the first time I played here. I lost here because Violet is incredibly powerful and very, very scary. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope, nope. You know what? Never mind, never mind. Everyone run. Everyone run. Run, 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 run. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'll do what I can. Ladies and gentlemen, get out of there. Nope. No, 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 Violent so scary man. Shall we? Seriously. The brother's going. Looks like his majesty really pulled out all the stuff. Thanks, Mercedes. I'll stop the enemy dead in their tracks. You want to use your brain and figure out how we win this thing. Someone must be giving these mercenaries their orders. We're going to fight. Oh my god, why am I trying to do this? Oh yeah, well, that's fun. The doors are locked though. We will proceed as planned. We move. No. I'll do it. Uh. We march on me. Seems like the doors are locked. Don't necessarily know what to do about that. I wonder. Can I? Do do not even that help me. Someone else handle the passion demon for you. Arvel, I'm not sure if you've realized, but um, Little Miss Ashen Demon over here is quite powerful. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy! What do you mean? Shall we? What are you doing, 
Mercedes. Get out of here. I'll provide Yo, Violet is powerful, my god! We will proceed if we must strive to perform. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Begin the operation. All troops? Oh boy. Woo! Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Actually, that's the first time I actually lost when I first played this game. I completely forgot that that even happens. But yeah, that's... Uh, Violet's dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Oh, nice double up, Ash. Dude, it's like I can't even catch a break out here. Anyway, so yesterday, story time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yesterday I bought a game called Guilty Gear Strive, and I was playing this character, it's a fighting game, so I was playing the arcade mode, I was playing with this character called Kai Keys. and I was doing fairly well, especially since it was my first time ever playing the game, and I thought, okay, I'll be fine, it's not too big of a deal, I'll be able to do it, it's fine, uh, so I start working on... Trying to basically beat the arcade mode. And that is when things start to go horribly wrong. I get to the boss of the arcade mode. And the man deals massive amounts of damage, takes no damage whatsoever, is extremely aggressive. <laughs> The normal version of the character has this thing where he can basically like, power himself up, but he loses health while doing it. The boss doesn't have that. I was never able to beat the boss. Basically, I went out of the arcade mode, I went into the normal, like, regular versus mode. Put the enemy AI on the hardest difficulty, put the exact same character that the boss was, and started fighting like that. I won on the hardest difficulty! What is that? What sort of crazy thing did they do to make it such a difficult fight in the in the arcade mode? I'd really like to know. I can't see what's happening. I cannot see what's happening. Well, all, all I know is I think it worked out. Alloys is still alive, though. It's unfortunate, but what can he do? That was fairly simple. I don't know why, but I was just thinking of, um... Of no oh, Batman Arkham Asylum. I really do not know why. I did enjoy that game when I first played it, though. That was a very good game. Commander. Arkham Asylum and Arkham City were both release. fairly good. I think probably just personal preference, but I somewhat prefer Asylum to City. I've played Knight as well, as well as Origins. Origins was actually my first Arkham game. Let's give them a then nice I played Asylum. Welcome. Then I played City. Then I played Knight. So, yeah, it's kind of like a weird way of playing through the games. Though I guess now that I think about it, I kind of did play it through in, like, according to the timeline, you know, <laughs> the right way. It's like starting with Skyward Sword if you're playing Zelda. Which, honestly, Skyward Sword is also a fantastic Zelda game. It was just held back on the Wii because of the motion controls. People didn't enjoy the motion controls, but the story and everything else of the game is fantastic. Is this 
spend there real quick? How much health does this man have? Lightning! My gosh. Seriously, how much else does he have? I was gonna say, did I get a level from that? No, it was Phoenix. Is he is he done? Are we done? He's still not down. Fantastic. Oh! Well, I forgot what this even is. That certainly worked. Uh, this job's not worth dying over. Fall back. So I think at this point we pretty much have all of the different like areas that we can capture. Let's capture that one. Capture that one. I don't think this is something here. Okay, so we see them. Lonato has to be in this area, then, right? I mean, so that's what would make sense. Take a breather. Allow me. On to the next. Send in the auxiliary units. Glad those mercs are gone, but this fog is still as thick as... Oh, up. boy. It's likely that sorcery is it, it, it makes... We find ourselves in. The, um... I will say this. The, uh... Sorry, the fog on this game in specific... Not a problem. ...is not... Fun whatsoever. We will proceed it is to not fun. We must start to because of the it's fact that to play this game correctly, you, re you really, really need the map in this game. If the ones in in any song, warriors game, without the if you, like if you didn't have a map in one of these games, it would be incredibly difficult. It really, really would be. Uh they found us. Okay, so Dimitri found him. Let's just... Oh, oh, I messed up that combo. Jesus, that was really loud. I don't even know... Oh, 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 fantastic, finally. I can see everything now. Great. Awesome. The time for subterfuge has passed. We shall meet now in honest combat. Oh, I can't get to him yet. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if you've noticed the door is locked. Come, everyone. We will overwhelm our foes. It's even like showing me, yeah, dude, the door is just locked, man. <laughs> My characters are pretty low on health. Where's Mercedes? Mercedes, do me a favor. Go heal my character. Go heal, go heal, heal Shez. Go. I'll deal with this. Oh, Dora, what are you doing here? Forgot that you were even here. But he's done so much to ingratiate himself with the Empire. We can't exactly leave our new friend to die, can we? Just shut up and fight. If we can just try to reason with Dorothea, then we might be able to stop him peacefully. There, they, there, there's so many things that we spawn throughout this game. We must try to perform to the Shall we? Can you? Messengers, we need to stop game. Them before they call for backup. But thank you. That's what I'm working on, game. That's what I'm working on. Poor 
Doro. She didn't stand a chance. Yep. I can't say I want that either. All right. You win. Open the door. Let me in. Did they get rid of the messenger as well. If his majesty means to shelter those vile church rats. Did they? Or did the messenger reach the spot? Then I shall rebuke him to my final breath. Fling open the gates. Thank you. How you doing, buddy? Really? You really gotta show me this little cutscene? I've burned far too many bridges to turn back now. Just shut up and let me fight you. It's time to settle this. This might be over before it even starts. Thank you, my friend. She still has quite a bit of health, actually. Surprisingly. Oh my Again! Again! Now you're in the air, my friend. You got nowhere to go. Oh. Well, that worked out better than I thought it would. Forgive your fool of a father, Kristoff. For he is soon to join you. It's over. A fine effort, everyone. Especially considering the conditions. Guess we did our job, at least. Well, well, doesn't someone sound disappointed? And what's with that look? I don't know. We completed our mission and all, but it still feels like we lost somehow. Sure, we stopped Lenato, and we put Geralt and his mercenaries to rout. But not before they dragged us through one of the toughest fights we've experienced. And most of all, I failed to take down the Ashen Demon. If that's not a loss, I don't know what is. Wrong! You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. Where's my controller? You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way. So do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks for the chat. By the by, have you seen our valiant leader? I wonder where he scampered off to. Hmm, no Felix or the others in sight either. Maybe they're having a meeting or something. Sounds like you should try to track them down then. Though, on second thought, it may not be any of your business. I probably shouldn't be sticking my nose into their private matters, but I am pretty curious. Let's go. Ah, uh, okay. Next time, defeat more enemies. Good to know, game. Thanks for telling me. Okay. Nice. Another level. Very good. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm a better man. Nice. I got another venom edge. Still mostly just iron stuff. Got some food as well. New support. New character. Very nice. You did well, Niklon. I will remember the deeds you've performed here today. You know as well as I that I only did it for the money. 
Your money. That's a man from before. I don't mean to question you, but why exactly are you eavesdropping on them? It looks like you're having an argument. Butting in now would just make things worse. What are you playing at, Boar? This washed-up bandit doesn't deserve to look at our army, let alone be a commander in it. It's a decision I made in collaboration with the Margrave. Two years ago, after I ascended the throne, I ordered Gustav to capture him, made him swear his allegiance to the royal family, and gave him a unit of soldiers to command. Spare me the details of how you did it. What I want to know is why. My army was lacking leaders. We needed capable fighters to fill in the gaps. As for Miklon here, the Margrave himself has instructed him in all manner of military tactics. I've seen his prowess with my own two eyes. <sighs> in the centuries since the time of King Lug, crests and relics have kept Vargas safe. We've come to depend on that power to protect us from outside attacks, and grown all too complacent in its wake. Naturally, we will take full advantage of our hero's relics in the battles ahead with Adrestia. But we cannot protect our home with relics alone. If all who could wield them fell, so too would we. The blood of the heroes is thinner now than ever before. We need men like him among our ranks. I don't doubt the truth of your words, but that's not the issue here. Do you really think it appropriate to trust a man barely removed from his life as a brigand with the responsibility of command? Everyone's heard the stories of the elder Gautier brother, how he resorted to banditry and plunder. Do you not think our soldiers would object to being led by a man with such history? <laughs> command, huh? That's got a nice ring to it. But you should know, I'm just a prisoner. My attendants, my aides, my best men, all stooges for the royal family. Breathing down my neck every waking moment. All the sleeping moments, too. No wise remarks, Sylvain? You're standing there mute, as if this has nothing to do with you. I was one of the first His Majesty consulted with. There's nothing I could say that I haven't already. I'm sure you can't stand the sight of me, Miklon. But let's see if we can't get along, okay? Huh. Anyway, now that we're all caught up, I'll await your next orders, Your Majesty, Sir. <sighs> Let me guess. Any means necessary? I won't defend it. Though I do see use in such a man. What he did in his time as a bandit was monstrous, I admit that. And I deserve no small amount of judgment for giving him command in spite of it. But I can't help but wonder. Perhaps his life could have been dramatically different had he only possessed a crest. Same as the uncle I murdered. I understand your reasoning, Your Majesty. Yet he's hurt so many people. What's done is done. Stolen goods may be returned, but stolen lives cannot. If the man is unwilling to atone for his wrongdoings, then he will pay for it with his head. If he does wish to repent, however, then what better way to do so than by risking his life on behalf of our people? If any among us still can't forgive him, by all means, take up your arms and enact vengeance. I get what you're trying to do, but you still should have talked to us first. This isn't about who shoulders what blame. It's a matter of letting us know what you're thinking. <sighs> you're right, Felix. My apologies. <sighs> Mm. 
Now then, we march on Aryan Road as planned. With House Row's military might crippled, seizing the fortress should be a somewhat simpler matter. The Silver Maiden. Can we really take it? You saw how many troops they've already lost. Just plain math will tell you there can't be that many of them left back at the fortress. At least I sure hope not. And I am sure Houses Karen and Garang would be willing to lend us a few squadrons in return for the aid we provided them. Agreed. And their militaries are both formidable indeed. I'll have to factor their support into our strategies moving forward. And what of you, Ash? Will you be joining the fight at Aryan Road? I... Yes, I will. Though, I do appreciate the concern, Your Majesty. As long as you're sure you can handle it. Do not hesitate to retreat if it becomes too much for you. House Rose forces aside. We now have the added threat of Gerald and his mercenary band to contend with. The very same mercenary band you had been looking for, is it not? Yeah. One of them in particular, a warrior known as the Ashen Demon, felled my entire company back before I met you. Not sure I'm looking for revenge exactly, but I do want to surpass them, no matter what it takes. I see. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Sorry, I wasn't really trying to hide it or anything. Just never came up, I guess. I believe I understand. Overcoming Gerald and his mercenaries is what drives you in life. Yeah, you could say that. It's the closest thing to a goal I have, for sure. Hmm. In any case, those people cannot be taken lightly. I'd like to avoid crossing blades with them as much as we can. Though we'll likely encounter them sooner rather than later. Imperial forces are still encamped in the former Arendelle territory, after all. Right. We'd better be ready for anything. Bruh. Jeez. Oof. You sit through a lot of dialogue in these games. Azure Gleam. Conspiracy in the air. Oh my god. Having laid Lenato low, the Kingdom's army proceeds south. Count Roe, who had prior declared fealty to the Empire, surrenders, and Aryan Road falls back into Kingdom hands. With its foothold in the West lost, the Empire amasses troops in the former Arendelle territory to the south, prompting the army of Fargus to strike before Adrestia can regain its footing. It's nice Aryan Road fell with little more than a hand wave, but it's hardly comfortable knowing the enemy is still on our doorstep. Comfortable or no, we must take what few chances we do have to rest. Battle will be upon us again before we know it. Not to mention the fortress is still a target. I mean, who wouldn't want their very own impregnable stronghold? Our spies report that the enemy plans to mount such an attack from Arendelle land. Arendelle, huh? It's been two years since the territory came under the Emperor's control. The wind carries rumors that Edelgard has been keeping Lord Arendelle imprisoned in his home since then. If it's true, I'll... I'll... No. Were the enemy to strike, and the fortress city to somehow fall, our path forward in this war would grow exceedingly perilous. The West doesn't face the kind of constant threats we do, so there aren't as many strongholds here as in the North, right? Basically. Though my uncle did say that started to change at least a tiny bit in the past couple of years. In other words, the entire western region of the kingdom is likely to fall into enemy hands if we retreat from Aryan Road now. Indeed. Which is exactly why we must take the offensive and restrain this Imperial snake before it can sink its fangs into us. Hey, it'll be nice to strike first for once. 
It feels like we've been on the back foot for a while now. Right you are. And remaining on perpetual defense would only lead to more meaningless, preventable deaths. Offense is the best defense, I always say. We'll crush anyone who has the gall to stand against us. There you go, getting carried away again. Look at them, all stunned into speechlessness. Hmm? Your Majesty, I've had terrible news. Calm yourself. What is it? The convoy escorting Count Ro to the capital has been attacked by an unknown assailant. They've sustained heavy losses, and it seems Count Ro has gone missing amid the chaos. I see. And these assailants, we know nothing about them? Very little, Your Majesty. The survivors claim to have been attacked by numerous mages. Mages? No. What's wrong? Do you know who it is? You saw the court mage Cornelia during our battle at Ferdia, yes? Well, she disappeared almost immediately after. It's likely she has been burrowed away in Western Fargus ever since. Which leads me to wonder if this attack wasn't her handiwork somehow. It's merely a feeling, though. I'd like to look into it further, if possible. Something tells me the Imperial soldiers won't wait around patiently while we go off hunting for clues. Perhaps you should send a separate unit to investigate, while we attend to the Empire. Yes, that would be prudent for now. We cannot afford to lower our guard for even a moment. Alrighty then. Jeez. Okay. So we'll probably handle like camp stuff. Hey there. Oh god, what is it now? Hey, Jesus, and support combos as well. Between the do and act, it seems like. What is it, Felix? <laughs> Tactical research facility. Oh yes! Finally! Where is it? Okay, this is actually very important. Uh, this is kind of like the bazaar from Hyrule Warriors if you've ever played it. Um, so yeah, you can like unlock vulnerary slots. You can even level up the vulnerarities, level up capabilities, unique abilities, warrior gauges, all that type of stuff. It's fantastic price. and very very important. Um. Oh, I can't do- I can't- ooh. Oh, I guess I have Don't to go- your Wait, I can do it from here. My instruction here! Comes here. A high price. Ha ha ha! And I can't do anything. It's fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna learn tactics, go to Shez, hit group, and then we can just- All of it at the same time. Don't fantastic. Love being able to do sense. that. Uh, gotta go down to the training instructor now. Hello! Training can be Train. the difference between victory and defeat. Uh, I guess... Scroll down... Petra... Uh... Happy. Uh, successive training. Got to give this a... Jesus. More okay. Have okay! Gotcha! Do it again! Perfect! Yes! Well, look! Finally got fire sweep. Very helpful. Time to work you in with proper training. Uh, You'll I be think. Hold on a minute. Convoy. Uh, Mercedes. I think I'm gonna throw Mercedes back into the priestess uh, class here. Um, however... Okay, no, that's good. Uh, gotta go up to Shez. Down here, take out Wraith Strike, put in... Fire Sweep. And now we have one Sweep and Fire Sweep. Um, other than that, I 
think we're good all around. Doro. I like having heal at least on, on all of them. And instead of Thunder, we're gonna do Thoron for Doro. We might end up using Dorothea, I'm not sure. I, Dorothea is probably one of my favorite views in the original, so maybe, maybe not. Uh. Let me very quickly go do the chore and the kitchen stuff, and then we'll do the supports just in case we get more support. Uh. You and you. Okay. We all must do our fair share of useful. Street Saul, Mercedes, Annette. Oh, Mercedes and Annette are already that close to. Jeez. They're almost already in an A support. Jesus. Whew. You were splint. Uh, we all must do our fair share to make yourself useful. Here. Uh, let's. We all must do our fair share. Kitchen master. Hunger is a true enemy. enemy. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Don't necessarily know what I want to do. Uh. Do Ingrid Felix? I can only see if we have one that's between Ingrid and Doro. I doubt it. Was Ingrid here? No, she wasn't. Okay. Okay. So that's not happening. Um. Pheasant. I can do these two, or I can do. Yeah, let's do these two. Yeah. Alright. Could have been better, but yeah. This is heavenly! You can really never get enough of your favorite foods. Huh. You made this? Pretty good. Let's see. Hunger is the true more. So Ugh. excuse me. Yeah. Hold on. How'd you know this was my favorite? Thank you. Oh, thanks. Did you know this was one of my favorites? Alright. Come back whenever you're hungry. Okay, so let's head over to the reward master so we can get a ward and then we'll do the supports. Well, how'd it go? Thank you. Any results, a good result. Support info. Yeah, that's a lot more. <laughs> that's a lot more. Um, okay, so we'll start with Felix then. My apologies, Felix. Am I getting in the way of your work? No, I just finished up. What do you need? I picked this up on the training grounds. I think it might be yours. Hey, that's my brother's spur. I thought I'd lost it. I ran around asking all the knights who it belonged to. The royal crest made it seem... important. You really should take better care of it. Didn't Glenn receive this as a gift from the late king? Yep. Don't shrug me off like that! I am surprised. 
You never struck me as the type to keep such a memento with you. Guess I thought it might come in handy someday. <sighs> Whatever you say. Just make sure you don't misplace it again. Ingrid. Wait. Yes? You should have it. Excuse me? Absolutely not. I could never accept something so precious. When my brother was appointed by the king, who do you think he told first? It wasn't me or my father. It was you. So take it. But I... If you want the truth, I always plan to give it to you anyway. I just never found the right time. Well, if you insist, then I accept. Thank you, Felix. But don't get the wrong idea. I'm not doing this so you can go drown yourself in grief. Oh, I am very much aware. I know full well how much you detest such displays of sentimentality. I should get going. I have a meeting to attend. Farewell, Felix. Alrighty then. Just up to that one. Do a few more. Just do this one. It's you. What are you doing? Hey, Ash. Not much. Just perusing this tactics book. Have you read it before? I sure have. It was popular in Leicester a few years back, if I remember right. I picked it up myself back at the monastery, but it was so dense it took me ages to finish. It's a pretty tough one, I'll give you that. But there's some great stuff in here, too, if you can get past the writing. Hold on. You were born in a remote mountain village in Ordelia territory, right? Uh, yeah. What's your point? I guess I'm just impressed you can handle such an obtuse book, given your upbringing. I mean, nobles and the children of rich families are taught to read by default, but most commoners never get the opportunity. Honestly, I've been wondering who taught you ever since our time at the Academy. I hope I didn't offend you. I'm just curious. <laughs> it's fine. I learned from my mom. Adoptive mom, that is. Looking back on it now, it is kind of weird that someone as smart as her was off living in the middle of nowhere like that. Hmm. Well, I'm sure she must have had a reason for being there. Hard to say. She never liked talking about her past, so I don't know much beyond what I saw for myself. At the very least, it's obvious she was well-educated. That's clear just from looking at you. Not only can you read and write, but you know arithmetic and how to navigate with a map, too. In that sense, you're not so different from the average noble or knight raised in the lap of luxury. You really think? Yeesh, you're gonna make a gal blush. I only have my mom to thank for raising me so well, though. Yeah, she must have been an incredible woman. You know, I didn't know how to read myself until I met Lenato. Huh. Now that you mention it, I never really saw the other mercs in my company with a book in their hands. Except for the captain, of course. Makes me wonder where my mom learned all that. But it's not like I can ask her now. She's gone. Oh. Alright, we got... How many more do we got? I think... Ashley, so we got two more supports and then we'll end the video there. Well, well, just the gal I wanted to see. I've got a bit of a favor to ask. You know that special sword you fight with? 
Well, I was wondering if you'd let me take a peek at it. Sure, if you want. Can't say I expected this kind of interest coming from you, though. It'd be one thing if it were Dimitri or Felix asking. You know how they get about weapons. But you? You do remember I'm the heir to House Gautier, don't you? I've been studying the art of combat ever since I was just a kid. Well, you always skip out on training, so... Anyway, here. This work? It sure does. What a weird sword. You know what it's made of? It doesn't look like iron or steel to me. I couldn't tell you. Honestly, I have no idea. What about how you can make it appear right out of thin air? Is that some sort of magic? Nah, not exactly. It kind of just comes to me when I call it. Well, that's vague. Uh, one more question then. Would I be able to use your sword if I wanted to? Mm, doubt it. The thing vanishes the second I let go of it. But hey, why do you want to know so much about it anyway? I guess I was just thinking how nice it'd be if there were more weapons like yours out in the world. You know, a hero's relic can take down hundreds or even thousands of soldiers in a single swing. Depending on who's doing the swinging, of course. But as soon as the wielder dies, that's it. If you don't have a crest, it's nothing more than a fancy-looking hunk of whatever they're made of. Of course, that wouldn't be an issue if everyone could just use a sword like yours. Maybe so, but that doesn't make it possible. I mean, there's still so much even I don't know about it. Right. It's not like you can just make a second one or something. That's actually a pretty interesting idea. You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? Hey, you're talking to the future Margrave Gatte here, remember? Of course I'd think about this kind of stuff. After all, us nobles wouldn't have nearly as much work to do if everyone could fight with the relics. And then I could spend all my time flirting with you instead. Yeah, not interested. Don't make me tell Ingrid about this. Harsh. Though I do like that about you. <laughs> Come on, let's see that sword of yours a little more. Alright, I believe that leaves one more. Oh, it's so late. I didn't mean to take this much of a detour. Just getting back? Hey, to do. Hope I didn't worry you. You didn't. You were in town, yes? I went to pick up some supplies. But on the way back, I saw these flowers blooming, and I just couldn't help but pick some. Ah, Yeros. They're used as an ingredient in healing salves. Although you can also slap the leaves on your wounds and get mostly the same effect. Oh, and I plan on soaking them in alcohol. It'll produce a liquid that can be used for a wonderful ointment. Uh, though, I suppose it would be faster to just use healing magic. You seem well informed on the subject. Lenato knew all about it. So, I picked up a few things from him. Lord Lenato had an interest in plants? Oh, sure. He kept tons of botanical encyclopedias and books like that in his room. He loved flowers. He even kept a small herb garden at Castle Gaspar. Hey, you like gardening too, right? I mean, you were always watering the flowers in the greenhouse back at Garrick Mock. I suppose I do, though I know little of the medicinal properties. Yeah, I guess knowing how to grow plants is different from knowing how to use them. Even so, the greenhouse was a treasure to me. You're right about that. I found flowers there I'd never even seen in Castle Gaspar's garden. I would like very much to visit this garden of yours one day. We should go! Of course, a lot has happened since I last saw it. 
But my younger siblings should still be looking after it. I look forward to it. Though, how did Lord Lenato come to know so much about medicinal herbs? Uh, he used to serve Grand Duke Rufus, so... Maybe he studied them while he was in the capital. Perhaps. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm just sitting here chatting away when I should be off making myself useful. Of course. Medicinal herbs. Hmm. Alrighty then. So, I believe that was the last one. Yes, it is. So we're going to end it here for today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I make a new video. And I'll see you all on the next episode of Fire Emblem Warriors. Three hopes.